Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers a New Ghost of Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. I played a little bit off screen but nothing that was worth recording, mainly quote unquote grinding and I just want to let you know what has happened. So last time that we left off I just checked a bit of uh, the kind of side quests here. Uh, I basically fulfilled most of them. Uh, off screen and was just uh, doing two of these endless breaches. Um, I'm not sure if we can continue just doing them over and over. I believe the answer is potentially not. Elsewise, that would be a bit uh, weird because you're always getting three stat points from them. Be it as it may, um, I got six stat points just. Uh, these um, endless void breaches always get you somewhere. I think this one got me down here. Uh, this one got me somewhere here. And then I finally fast traveled all the way back to here. So that's where we are. Second update, I found out uh, how these little voodoo dolls uh, work because as I was venturing through here, uh, there was uh, a hut where I finally found the ritual to kind of unbind them. And apparently these voodoo dolls are guarding equipment. So you need to collect three of the voodoo dolls, then find one of those uh, witch brazers, and then uh, you can get equipment. The one that uh, I've gotten is nothing outstanding so it's kind of in line with the equipment that you are having and i wonder to which degree you might just want to wait until the end of uh, the the game to do them maybe these things are end game material um, i just want to double check real quick as we are starting whether or not these void breaches are done or if you can uh, can re-attempt them it would be Stupid if you could do it, to be fair. Heads up. Good. That's a bit tougher fight than anticipated. But once I get the hang of it, we're actually fine. There you go. Killed. So don't tell me you can't do that once again. Intensity to each time you complete the endless ritual, its intensity increases. Oh, okay. Well, the answer is you can't do them again. So with increased intensity, we're not going to do that. It seems to be an interesting way of kind of farming stats for, I don't know, maybe the very, very, very end game for now. We had uh, this cool ship down here and I want to just double check uh, what that is about. Like I mentioned, we're not going to like, create this super uber powered read. I mainly just want to play uh, through the story on a hard difficulty and figure out what all of this here is about. We can most certainly explore the ship. I like it that they've given the ship kind of an interior. Hi, 
Still impressive. There's definitely something down there, but it seems that you need all of the manifestation powers, also the ability to get rid of uh, those vines in order to do anything. A fishing boat, eh? Because that's more plausible than a galleon. Adventure. Sounds fun. You're such a little boy sometimes. Hmm. Not sure what we're going to find there. Ivy blocks the path. Well, I guess that concludes the adventure in the ship. Unfortunate. I was really hoping there would be a little bit more to it. I mean, of course, once you do have the ivy removal, you can basically explore the entire world completely freely. And there might be an achievement for kind of end game 100% uh, the map and explore everything. See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Yeah, we're going to do exactly that. Reveal yourself! Ready and waiting. Angry fisherman, okay. Alright, this guy seems to be a really angry fisherman. There's more of them. Careful. There's a tough one. Just seeing is there any sniper up there? No. Oh, we're taking damage then. Ah, they brought more friends. Sometimes I have to wonder, are they just chaining certain enemies? Because it looks cool. What has an angry fisherman to do with a massive golem? Other than both of them are hitting the ground apparently. <gasps> There we go, I knew it. Throwing a tantrum, are we? Eyes peeled. Hugging all the fun. All right. These little rituals seem insignificant compared to those uh, void dwellings.
Good. What do we need to do here? We need to explore that area, but we've done that. How explore the harrows? Hmm. We've been here as well. Don't want to go in there for now. We've been at the ship. What what else is there to explore? I'm not getting it. Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking. I feel something close. All right, well, I suppose we can now go to the Herod Hamlets. Bridge is up, I wonder why. To keep folk in or to keep something out? Something's here. Hidden. Once again. So, are we not crossing? Is that it? destroying the mecha uh, mechanism so we definitely need to go over to there if there is no jump then it needs to be destroyed gotcha Looks like a fighting place. just like a chest by the way what I've not found out so far is what exactly the um, which stones are doing we're always getting them and they seem to be nice and all but they don't have any deeper meaning so far I assume they are resource at some point just like these massive spectral charts, uh, charts that we do get once um, we're going through those voids. 
Okay, we're going to explore that in a second, but this here looks too tasty to not, first of all, take a glimpse. opening an entire new map uh, segment oh, yes we are Saiken what are you doing there's only one point of interest let's check that out really quickly and then we're leaving yeah Your funeral! Not today! Ghost wards cannot manifest. Interesting, we got a couple of uh, these little dolls. Must be another ghost ward somewhere or not so these are the things I just want to show you oh, looking at this is giving me the willies is it cast so and now we theoretically do have the unbinding ritual but that requires one out of three of these sores and Those are the little um, dolls, sort of. One that we have found already. And the other two are potentially in the area. So essentially, I guess what I'm uh, seeing there I as a trend is you need to collect all three of these items, go, uh, go to the unbinding and basically uncurse them. See, that's the second item. Let's see if we can find the third one. That one is inside. Just wondering how to get there. Or is the third one inside? I don't know. Might just be a couple of candles, to be honest. Nope, third one is back there. Good. Well, let's showcase just how that overall um, banishing works or uncursing rather because I am quite proud that we have found that out all by ourselves what a 
efficient than cannon powder. Good, I think it was down here. And now that we do have all three of them, we can do the unbinding ritual. Typically what happens is you get an item and that item could be good or bad, but afterwards you're also being attacked. At least that's happened uh, the Strong two times you were weak, you now go. that I've done it beforehand. And this time we got a really decent ring. Uh, defeating an enemy with Anthea increases uh, the damage of the next rifle shot. Uh, just overall much better uh, stats. But I think we're just going to stick with that. I don't know, I mean, do we want to focus on the rifle? Really? Persistence, this here has vitality. I think that's good be because uh, we need vitality for Reed to survive. The only real way of dying is that Reed dies and more vi vitality prevents that from happening. So that's essentially uncursing of an item, 101. And I think we've also found the secret, right? Yeah, it was uh, that. I don't want to go all the way over there, mainly because I don't want to just randomly explore. I want to follow the storyline. And currently the storyline is Harrow's Hamlet, because something or someone has isolated this community. And there are these hundreds of little gimmicks that you can do left and right, such as getting this ritual and just getting stuff, really. But oftentimes you get, or I get, um, very much sidetracked. And next uh, thing you know, half an hour is gone. And the village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. Who oh, there? Anyone home? Where did they go? Everything's locked. Oh, this does not look good. The well, recently sealed. Below, it feels off. Smells off too. Maybe all of them killed and the corpse is buried in the well. Barricade. This looks like a place where we could sleep if this town was to be re established, that is.
One single open. There's a lock. House. And we need a key. Point. Game is teasing me with a hundred and one different chests. That doesn't work either. Okay, we can go there once the stupid ghost awards are gone. They be free to return in glory to their faith. I fair fact, though it bring demons down in great wrath upon my soul, do pray. Friends, find fortitude no way. in our success. The FX. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes! Open to the four winds. Yes, but already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent. What most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you were dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. Well, I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Oh, you bet. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? I'd rather not talk about it. Blessed is the man in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful. But you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil heartened and emboldened goes from strength to strength he insinuates himself among my people reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us 
It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position, while you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go, meet my people, walk amongst them, learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politics. What makes you think there's a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. That witch might be the nightmare. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. How did the evil manifest? She brought an illness upon us. No ordinary pox, the devil's work. We dropped like flies until she died. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. All right. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Fairfax, my dude. It's unbelievable. I mean, I solved those five cases. Uh, these still have um, lingering residual things uh, in there. But there are still three more that I must have missed. And here, well, a lot of cases. Another witch hunt. Another false accusation, you mean? Another blight on the lives of women. If you need help, I'm not busy. Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. Good. We're activating this here, and I think that's a perfect timing to call it quits uh, for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. 
I hope you uh, enjoyed Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. I'm going to continue here exactly the ni uh, next time when it is time for us to follow our pair of lovers once more. All right, have a good one, take care, and uh, bye-bye.